What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 11th Photoshop tutorial. And I know I haven't made a Photoshop tutorials in quite some time, but guess what? I'm making them now, so take it easy. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over something called filters. And uh, before I do that, let me just tell you guys what just happened to me. I was uh, making some Spider-Man mac and cheese, and I actually uh, tried to scrape a piece of mac and cheese or actually it was just macaroni off the bottom while it was boiling in my pot and because it was stuck to the bottom and I was scraping and scraping and I couldn't get it and then it suddenly uh, just popped off and a bunch of hot water went on my belly button and I just burnt my stomach so um just want to tell you about that uh, I thought you guys would uh, like to know you know and uh let me ask you this before we get started do you think like uh the shapes like Spider-Man and Spongebob macaroni and cheese taste better than just the noodles? Because I do. I really think they do. But anyways, uh, to our tutorial. Um, like I said, in this tutorial we're going to be going over something called filters. Now what a filter is, if you go ahead and select a layer, um, it's pretty much a special effect or something like that that you can add to an image. Now filters got their name because um, people who uh, use filming stuff like um, what's it called people who hold camcorders I don't know whoever hold a camcorder you can put a filter over the lens to uh, like change the color or something like that and these uh, I guess they can change the color but they can do some other cool stuff too so let's go ahead and um, apply a filter just to show you guys what it can do so for example if you go to distort and then go to like glass you can apply this nice glass filter and uh, there's a bunch of settings but we'll go over that later and as you can see now my image has a new kinda looks like foggy little church glass or you can apply another one like um, filter stylize where you at? glowing edges and this uh, gives it kind of a 3d not 3d a retro looking glow and this is how you can apply filters to your image but you usually don't want to do this and a lot of people don't know there's something called a small smart filter now the problem with this what we just did I mean they look how we want them to look and we can uh, edit the different settings but whenever we want to edit edit the filters um, it's really confusing to do and anytime we want to edit one that we did in the past we have to go edit undo edit step backward and yada 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 we don't really have a lot of control over the filters so if we want to have more control over the filters what we need to do is turn this layer into a smart object so we can apply smart filters to it and this will pretty much um, give us complete control over every filter and this is the only way to do this so that's how I'm gonna start you guys out teaching you about filters because that's how you should apply all your filters unless you know it's gonna be permanent one time deal but usually you don't so here's what you do select the layer you want to use and this checkerboard is layer one so I'm gonna be working with layer one and then go ahead up to filter and click convert for smart filters who would have guessed it then go ahead and click OK I never read that before uh, I don't even care what it says but anyways after that what you need to do is you have to apply filters to the what you just did and you know that you turned it into a smart object or a smart filter because there's this little um uh what's it called like a thumbnail i guess you could call it icon right on your layer as you can see this layer doesn't have one this layer doesn't have one but this one has this little thumbnail and that's how you know it's a smart filter so now what happens if we go and apply our filters well select our layer and put filter stylize uh, we'll use the same ones glowing edges okay and filter um, distort glass now okay and now you can see instead of like last time we can actually edit or uh, view the visibility of all these filters individually so unlike undoing like last time all you have to do is click glass off and bam look at that or we can keep glass on and turn glowing edges off bam look at that or if you got really uh, excited you can go ahead and turn them both off by using this master smart filters toggle and if you don't wanna 
or if you want them back bam just click it again so that's a way where you can do that and you couldn't you didn't have that control before by just applying a naked filter right to your layer and this is also useful if you have a series of filters and you want to copy them from one layer to another before that was impossible but now look at this let's go ahead and bring up our cow layer I got my uh, three cows right there looking good cows looking good WTF is this thing though right in the chest it's like a bulge popping up you preggy preggy cow anyways anytime you want to copy a set of filters to another layer all you have to do is select the filters right here well you don't select them actually you hold down alt on your keyboard if you got a Mac I don't know probably the Apple sign uh, probably not I have no idea what you need to do is hold down alt hopefully you're working with Windows and grab your filter using the left mouse button which is the regular mouse button and go ahead and just drag that oh I forgot one thing anytime you want to copy filters to another layer what you need to do is turn that layer into a smart object before so go ahead and click on layer 2 and click filter convert for smart filters now this cow layer is ready for smart filters now you can go ahead and hold down alt on your keyboard and go ahead and drag those filters over to layer 2 now look at that bam if we do this we now got all of our filters on our layer 2 the cow layer so how awesome is that and again just like the other ones we can turn off the glass not bad turn off the glowing edges not bad or turn off them all so that is like an incredibly easy way to use filters using smart filters and remember anytime you want to do this and get a layer ready for smart fil smart filters it's kinda hard to say just go to filter convert for smart filters and then that's uh... that's pretty much what you should do with any layer that you're going to use filters on instead of applying the filter right to the layer so that's it for this tutorial um... in the next tutorial i don't know what we're going to be going over but uh... yeah i'm going to let my uh, burn wounds on my stomach heal and uh... make sure to watch it and play around with smart filters and i'll see you next time